My fiance Hans had an accident in December of 2019. He suffered a near fatal traumatic brain injury. I'm thankful to be alive. Hans and I got electric scooters for Christmas and we were riding them without helmets and unfortunately Hans fell. He was knocked unconscious and at the time of Hans's accident I was working here at Kawea Health. My nurse instincts just kicked in. I began CPR and he started breathing and the ambulance brought him here to the emergency department. When Hans got to the emergency room, they ended up putting a bolt immediately in his head to monitor his intracranial pressure. A couple hours later, they told us they were transferring him to ICU and that's when we knew it was serious. Hans was in the ICU at Kawea for a little over a month. He actually never left the ICU. The first week of January, they decided to do a surgery where they removed part of Hans's skull. That was kind of the last effort to save his life. Dr. Liu performed a life-saving surgery on Hans and he saved his life. People come into the emergency department, I operate on them to save their lives. It's, it's what happens afterwards, you know? When I left, he was stabilized and I felt that you know, he was probably going to be okay. Seeing that and actually meeting him is indeed special. Hello. Hello. Oh man, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I had never met Dr. Liu. I had never known of the neuroscience team that we had to offer here. Now I know that Kawea Health has the USC neurosurgery team and Dr. Liu was the best doctor Hans could have. Hans left Kawea with a breathing tube, a feeding tube, and part of his skull removed and also went to the outpatient therapy provided by Kawea Health. He had physical therapy and occupational therapy. Hans had to relearn everything from sitting up, breathing, eating, and he's still working on talking. Oh my God. Now he's getting back to golfing, woodworking, painting. It is an absolute pleasure to have uh, played a small role in Hans's recovery. December will be two years from Hans's accident. In January 22nd, we are getting married. We actually invited Dr. Lou to our wedding and we are hoping he's going to attend. There were days where I sat next to Hans's bed and I prayed that we had more life to live and this wasn't the end of our journey and God knew it wasn't. And next year we get to start our official journey as Mr. and Mrs. And I feel like we appreciate life so much more and we appreciate each other. Love you. I love you.